Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. I'm your instructor Joy. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really, really appreciate. This video will be an answer to a subscriber. This fan is was wondering how do we know when to have our bow hair rehaired? Uh, what's the indication? How do we know when exactly to do? Um, very good question. I get that question a lot from my students in my studio as well. We know that bow is as important as a violin. Often we overlook the importance of having quality bow, also good condition of the bow. So make sure that your bow is in a good working condition. Now, just like human hair, bow hair also breaks and stretches depending on the condition or the amount of usage. Um, there are two ways of knowing, <coughs> excuse me, from the look, visuality, and from the feeling from playing. Now let's start from the look. So uh, when you have bow, when you look at the bow closely, there are a lot of hair. This is horsetail hair because that's the bumpiest hair available, pressed together. But as you know, when we play um, tilted bow for slutasto, we tend to tilt on one side. So we tend to use away the side that's a little away from us, a little more than the other side, which end up um, breaking more. So a lot of bow hair. So on the right side breaks more than on the left side. So it looks something <laughs> like this. I don't know if you can see that. I mean, this one has general very little hair, but this side has significantly less hair than here. You see that? This. So if it's something like that, that's a good way of knowing. Even though you can play with a this amount of hair still, but it more lies on the health of the bow stick. You see, there's this, the bow is a long, thin stick, and when you tighten the bow, it carries a lot of tension. So if the the tension is uneven, left side holding it more than the right side because there are more hair on the left side, that end up um, disturbing the straightness of the bow, which will disturb our own playing. So it's not the healthiest way and it makes our playing harder. You can always have the, your bow stick straightened by luthier or bow makers because they have a way of heating the stick up and then straightening it. Uh, but it's better if you take care of that beforehand. Now second way of knowing it is also, you know, because our hand tend to be greasy, <laughs> just the way it is, and where we grab our finger tend to touch the hair a little and sometimes it gets a little filthy uh, let's see if I can show you a little like that this in this side let me put my violin down um, so this side oopsie this is that on the side here and so here a bit and that one so it gets a little greasy here and a little that one. That's fine. But if you do, you left that too long, if you use it for a little longer time, it looks a little filthier. <laughs> Sorry for the disgusting look, but I have to show you so that you know what it looks like. This is that. Not only it turned a bit yellowish, but it, it has, um, so if you compare a little newer bow hair versus much more used to hair here. When it's in this condition, um, the rosin start chunking up, sticking together, which means um, the hair gets stuck together. You can always brush it with, um, some people use it brand new, unused toothbrush, you just uh, brush it off. But when there's too much rosin or uh, the fat, the grease from our hand built in there, it kind of chunks up, the, the hair gets a little one chunk. Again, then it disturbs our sound. It's harder to play. That's a good way to know. And another way of knowing is when the hair uh, breaks too often when you play. I mean, the hair breaks a little here and there, but a little more than usual in the middle. That means um, either hair uh, lost its uh, strength or something, the balance of the, when, when uh, your bow hair got done, the balance is not right. Or the, there's certain structure and it has a specific length of the hair and so on. So it's time to do it or have it redone. Um, sometimes it ha 
happens if you live in um, an area where it has a very clear climate change, especially with humidity. Humidity plays a huge role when it comes to extracting and expanding the hair because we should be able to loosen the hair when we're done to give a proper rest to the stick because um, you want to be able to give a proper rest to the stick otherwise uh, uh, it loses its straightness and it could even snap um, the little tip part that could even snap right because there's too much tension just too much tension just like you know at night we have to go to bed and rest in order to be energetic be more productive the next day same thing you need to be able to give proper rest to your bow by loosening properly but if your bow hair does not loosen properly uh, when you loosen you should be able to the hair should be able to touch the stick uh, if it doesn't happen make sure um, you have the bow hair redone and uh, vice versa happens too if um, you're in a rather humid and hot area and then when you tighten it, it doesn't tighten properly tight it, it's not tight enough and then again the hair is too long for your bow stick and have it redone second way um, knowing from the feeling from the planning that gets a little tricky now visually it's not too hard but knowing how to know from playing is a, a little more it requires a little more um, advanced level of playing so you could get a little advice from your teacher or try yourself I do a couple of things so now I want my hair my bow hair to be able to grab my string well so when I um, play for example my tailor I want to make sure it has a nice the hair can grab the string well. If it slips too much, that means maybe your hair got stretched or it's time for your, your bow hair to be redone. Um, so another thing is similar, but this time multiple um, staccato called oppo staccato. That's a way of testing when the, whether bow hair is all in good, good condition. I tried it one. And then now another one that I do is also a little um, uh, speak at the jump, jumping bow. Just to make sure that my bow reacts well. Now, um, then also ricochet. So another bouncing spot. And then this um, also has something to do with a bow hair condition. Now, um, it one also has to understand such difficult stroke it has to do not only bow hair but also bow stick condition. So it's a little unfair to give all the fault to the bow hair, but bow hair plays a role there as well. If you have to press unusually hard to, to produce sound, that means your hair is probably not the best, best condition either. That's another way of knowing it. Now, um, Sometimes some people say you need to have it rehaired every year, every six months, and so on. If I mean this is very general number that I'm giving you, but in general, if you are a professional player who plays between two to five hours a day, then every six months having it rehaired is a good idea. But if you play about an hour a day. Um, maybe every year if you're playing about 30 minutes a day or maybe a couple hours a week um, Probably you are gonna be okay if you be here about one to two years every couple of years Yeah, again the best way of ways always checking and see if you can produce beautiful sound also keep in mind when you have it rehaired um, it takes a little time for the bow to pro start producing beautiful sound again because it needs to put a lot of rosin and also a bit mellowing out too. But it certainly is good to get used to it and good to be informed. Yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and happy violin playing. Bye bye. Hope to see you again.